So now let's talk about the standard deviation, which is a measure for calculating the amount of variation, or let's say dispersion. So for example, here in this data, you can see that we don't have any variation. All of the values are 20. But for example, in this example, you can see that we have some variation because all of the values are not the same. So there is some variation in this data. And one of the most well-known measures for calculating the variation in a data is the standard deviation which we are going to talk about the theory of that by the end of this part but now let's do it in Python so as you can see we have imported numpy as in P and also we have defined two lists which are some numbers and we want to calculate the standard deviation of X and also the standard deviation of Y so in order to do so I simply type NP which is the numpy package then I use the STD function, means a standard deviation, and I should pass the X in order to calculate the standard deviation. So if I store the results in a variable, let's say called STD, and if I print the STD variable, and if I run the code, you can see here is the standard deviation of X. But now let's calculate the standard deviation of y, which is basically zero, but now let's do it in Python as well. So if I run the code, we can see the standard deviation is zero. But remember that this standard deviation function has another argument, which is called DDOF, which is a very important argument. And for example, if you pass one, then you're going to calculate the sample standard deviation. And if you pass zero, then you're going to talk about the population standard deviation. And now let's talk about what is sample standard deviation and what is population standard deviation in the theory. So now let's talk about the sample and population concept in statistics. Suppose that we have a school which has 500 students. And suppose that we want to study their heights, for example, the mean of their heights, the standard deviation of their heights, and etc. So one of the first approaches for doing so is to study each student individually. So as a matter of fact, we are going to study all these students, all 500 students. But as you can see, it takes a lot of time and a lot of effort. And the other approach is to take a sample. For example, suppose that we take a sample of size 30. I mean, we sample 30 students and we measure their heights. And for example, maybe measure the mean of their heights, the standard deviation of their heights, and etc. in order to generalize what, whatever we have achieved in the sample to the population. Because studying the population itself is very time consuming. We have sampled, for example, 30 students, and we are studying those 30 students in order to generalize whatever we have achieved in the sample to the population because it is easier to study a sample instead of the whole population. So now let's talk about the sample standard deviation and its formula. So as you can see, this is the formula for calculating the sample standard deviation. Every data minus the mean to the power of two and we should add these values and divide by n minus 1. I mean the number of values minus 1. And then finally we should take the square root of that in order to calculate the sample standard deviation. So here is an example. Suppose that our data is a 2, 1, 0. So as you can see the mean is 1. And the sample standard deviation is each data minus the mean. So 2 minus mean to the power of 2 plus 1 minus 1 to the power of 2 plus 0 minus 1 to the power of 2. So actually every data minus the mean to the power of 2. And we are adding these values and dividing by the number of the values minus 1. So the number of values, you can see that we have three data. So 3 minus 1. And then we take the square root of that and the result is 1. So here, the sample standard deviation is 1. But now let's talk about the population standard deviation. And the only difference is this one. You can see that in the denominator, it is not n minus 1. It is n. So this is the only difference between the sample standard deviation and the population standard deviation. And here is an example. And if we calculate the population standard deviation, you can see here is the result, which is different from the sample standard deviation. So as you can see, here is the formula for sample standard deviation, and here is the formula for population standard deviation. And as you can see, the only difference is in the denominator. 
And generally speaking, the formula for calculating the standard deviation is this. As you can see in the denominator, we have n minus something. And that something is called DDOF in the NumPy package. It means delta degree of freedom. So basically, if DDOF is 1, then you are calculating the sample standard deviation. And if the DDOF is 0, then you are calculating the population standard deviation. So here you can see this is our data, and we want to calculate, for example, the population standard deviation. So in order to do so, we should pass DDOF equals to zero. So now if I run the code, you can see here is the population standard deviation. And for example, if I pass one, it means that I'm calculating the sample standard deviation. So this is the value for the sample standard deviation. Now I really suggest you to watch this video, which is on the screen now.